very good morning to all of you students welcome to the mathematics class in this session we will discuss chapter number 3 linear pair of linear equation in two variable and this is the second part of this video in the first part we will discussed what is substitution method how can we solve linear equation with the help of substitution method now in this part we will discuss method of elimination by equating the coefficients okay students so starts so in this method if you want to solve the questions of linear equations by elimination method and substitution method also so in this method first of all we have to equate the coefficient of x or y if the coefficients are equal then we have to check the sign of both equal coefficient if they have the same sign then we have to subtract and if they have the different sign we have to add clear so discuss an example see example number solve my elimination method so from equation 1 x plus y is equal to 5 and 2x minus 3y is equal to 4 so here multiplied equation 1 by 3 because 3 is the coefficient of y and by multiplied by equation 2 into 1 and adding because the sign of y coefficients are different that means we have to add both equation so by doing this and solving we get the value of x and it will be 19 upon 5 now by substitution method we can put the value of x in any equation and simply we get the value of y so the value of y will be 6 upon 5 then the required value x equals to 19 upon 5 and y is equal to 6 upon 5 clear okay students now take another example 3x plus 4y equals to 10 and 2x minus 2y is equal to 2 so on multiplying equation 1 by 1 and equation 2 by 2 and adding them here we have to same the coefficient we have to make this the coefficient of x and y so by doing this we will get the value of x and it will be 3x plus 4y plus 4x minus 4y is equal to 14 that means x is equal to 2 because the coefficient of y will be same that's why it will be cancel out now putting the value of x in any equation we get y is equal to 1 so by doing the method by doing the same method we can easily eliminate any one coefficient and easily find the value of other variable clear so this is the method of elimination and substitution now student the exercise the exercise 3.3 is depend on the elimination method so this is your homework and you can solve the questions of this exercise very well clear now the next method is cross multiplication method this is important and some difficult method so in order to solve linear equation of two variable by this method we have to arrange the equation like this a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c equals to 0 clear now by arranging this and solving we get x is equal to b1 c2 minus b2 c1 a1 b2 minus a2 b1 in the same case the same way we can find the value of y which will be c1 a2 minus c2 a1 upon a1 b2 minus a2 b1 now the method of solving by the linear equation with the help of cross multiplication is also given like the given structure you can cross the numbers or you can say that the coefficient by the arrows and after that you have to put the values in the denominator and numerator should be x y and 1 then on equating the value of x with constant term we can easily find the value of x and by equating y with constant term we can find the value of y clear now 
now see example here the question is a minus b into x plus a plus b into y minus a square minus 2ab minus b square is equal to 0 this is first equation in the standard form now a plus b into x plus a plus b into y minus a square plus b square this is the second equation it is also in the standard form now adjust the given equation like the given formula we get x divided by x divided by minus a plus b into a square plus b square plus a plus b into a square minus 2ab minus b square is equal to y minus a plus b into a square minus 2ab minus b square plus a minus b into a square plus b square is equal to 1 upon a minus b into a plus b minus a plus b whole half square and this is arranged this arranged according to the cross multiplication now solving and equating the value of x with coefficient of constant term we get simply the value of value of x and y like x upon a plus b in bracket minus 2ab minus 2b square is equal to y upon 4ab square is equal to 1 upon minus 2b square minus 2ab now equating the value of x we get x is equal to a plus b and y is equal to minus 2ab upon a plus b this is the method of cross multiplication and in this method we can easily get the value of x and y separately and directly okay so now solve another question the next question is solve the following system of equations by cross multiplication method and the equations are ax plus by is equal to a minus b bx minus a y is equal to a plus b first of all we have to arrange the given equation like the standard form ax plus b y minus a minus b is equal to 0 and bx minus a y minus a plus b is equal to 0 here arrange this equation and by putting the values of x and y we get x upon minus b in bracket a plus b minus a a minus b is equal to minus y upon minus a in bracket a plus b plus b a minus b is equal to 1 upon minus a square minus b square now x upon minus a b minus b square minus a square plus a b is equal to minus y upon minus a square minus a b plus a b minus b square is equal to minus 1 upon in bracket a square plus b square on further solving we get x upon minus a square plus b square is equal to minus y upon minus a square plus b square is equal to 1 upon minus a square plus b square so on solving we get x is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1 so this is the required solution now, next exercise is exercise 3.4 and the questions of this exercise are depend on the method of cross multiplication so this is your homework and you have to solve all the questions of this exercise now we will discuss here condition for consistency or solubility that means what are the conditions by which we can solve the system of linear equation if the system of linear equations are given in the standard form a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 then multiplying the equation 1 by b2 and equation 2 by b1 it means that we have to equate the coefficient now on doing this and by solving we get there is a condition 1 the case 1 is if a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 so this is the first case in this case then the form equation fifth equation 4 we have means when a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 then we get the value of x and y like this b1 c2 minus b2 c1 upon a1 b2 minus a2 b1 and y is equal to a2 c1 minus a1 c2 upon b1 b2 minus a2 b1 clear now the next case is the second case is Suppose that 
a1 b2 minus a2 b1 equals to 0 in this case we can say that a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 and if we equate it equals to k then a1 is equal to k times of a2 and b1 equals to k times of b2 clear so these are the conditions and probabilities now in this case the probability possibility one will be if a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2 is equal to k that means the ratio of coefficient of x y and constant term all are equal and it will be equal to any constant then we can say that the equation contain infinite number of solutions that means the linear equation two variable have the number of solutions now now see example see example number one five show that the following system of equation is inconsistent and the equations are 2x plus 7y is equal to 11 and 5x plus 35 upon 2y is equal to 25 here we will represent the equation in the standard form like a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals to 0 and equating the equation in the standard form we get the value of a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 and c2 and now putting the values we get a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is not equal to c1 upon c2 and this is the condition when there is a no solution take place that means both equation have no solution in this case we can say that the equations are inconsistent now student a special type of equations and homogeneous equations so in this case equations is not given like the linear equation into variable and we have to let some variables and convert it into the standard form now their condition is also here first condition if a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 then we can say that homogeneous equation has only one solution that means its unique solution can be possible next case is if a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 then we can say that the equation have infinite number of solutions see see example find the value of k for which the system of equations 4x plus 5y is equal to 0 and kx plus 10y is equal to 0 has infinite many solutions that means here we have to put the condition a1 upon a2 is equal to v1 upon v2 and by putting the values and equating the equation in the standard form we get 4 upon k is equal to 5 upon 10 is equal to k is equal to 8 that means when we put the value of k is equal to 8 then we get infinite number of solutions for the following system of linear equation now the exercise 3.5 is just depend on the given condition means condition of cons consistency and non consistency and what are the conditions of unique solution infinite number of solutions no solutions so the exercise is just depend on these conditions and exercise is very simple and you have to solve the questions of this exercise and if you have any problem by solving the questions of this exercise then you can see the video and you can also solve the examples here okay students now next topic is equations reducible to simultaneous linear equation that means here we have to convert the given equation into the linear equation in two variables for example if we consider first equation 1 upon 2x plus 1 upon 3y is equal to 2 and 1 upon 3x plus 1 upon 2y is equal to 13 upon 6 so these equations are not given in the standard form that means pair of linear equation so here we have to let 1 upon 2x is equal to new variable and 1 upon 3y is equal to any other new variable and then we can convert the given system of linear equation into the standard form now see 
1 upon 2 x plus 1 upon 3 y equals to 2 and 1 upon 3 x plus 1 upon 2 y is equal to 13 upon 6. Now put 1 upon x is equal to u and 1 upon y is equal to v. By putting these values and solving we get the equations becomes in standard form. Clear? Okay student. Now student the next exercise is exercise 3.6 and in this exercise if you see a upon question number 1 a upon x minus b upon y is equal to 0 and a b square upon x plus a b a square b upon y is equal to a square plus b square so these equations are not given in the standard form so we have to let some terms and convert it into the standard form so this exercise is depend on the standard form reducible to standard form clear and we have to solve the value of x and y by using the method of substitution so first of all we have to convert the given system of equation into standard form and after that we can easily use the substitution method clear student so you can easily solve the questions of this exercise by the same method this is your homework and you have to solve all the questions of this exercise clear so student in this video we will discuss only some method like substitution method elimination method how can we convert the given system of linear equation into a standard form and what are the condition of consistency and non-consistency so you have to solve the questions of this exercise and practice as well as possible thank you very much